I have been asked to repair this wooden chair, this rocking chair. It's got a loose arm. So I'm going to take a look at it and figure out what we can do. My name is James and welcome to Homestyle Woodcrafts. On this YouTube channel we do woodworking projects, we look at tools, and we talk about hacks, tips, techniques, skills uh, to help you uh, and me do the kind of woodworking we want to do and to do the kind of craft work we want to do. If that sounds interesting to you, I'd encourage you to subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, uh, please like it. Here's a closer look at the arm. So it's a little loose. So where the spindles meet the seat, they're loose here. So here's my plan. There's a screw right here. I'll unloosen that and I'll take this out and examine uh, the ends of the spindles. Take off any old glue if necessary. Reseat them and re-glue them. Add a little shim if needed. And then once it's glued down, I'll figure out a way to clamp this down or put pressure on the top. So that's the plan. So I'm just taking a flathead screwdriver, loosening up this screw. So here's one of the first lessons I've learned doing this project is this was not a screw, it's a bolt. I didn't see this under here. There's a little nut under there. There's the bolt. It's a little bent. Maybe I can find a new one. We'll see. And here's the nut. Don't want to lose that. Got it. All right. So here's the arm. I'm going to take a look at it, see what we need to do. All right, let me show you what I found on first uh, inspection. So first of all, on the spindles, they've all been glued. Um, these two spindles, particularly the ends, they look like they've been previously broken. They're not flat on the end. This one, this one's flatter. So it's covered in the old glue. So I'm going to do a light sanding. I don't want to alter the shape of the spindle, so I'm going to try to be really careful about that. Let me show you inside the hole now. All right, here's the hole farthest from the back of the chair, and it's got a bunch of dust, old old sawdust. This one, these two as well. I'm not sure. Like I said, it's hard to tell if things have been broken, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. So I'm going to go outside and dump this out and then clean it out good. We'll see what it looks like. This is what the holes look like after I cleaned them up. It's probably hard to tell what's in there. Now I'm going to sand the ends of the spindles off. I want to get that old glue off. I'm going to use, I want to take a light touch though. So I'm going to start with some used 120 grit sandpaper. So now I've got that sanded. I'm going to test for the fit here. Let's just see how it's... I'm, I'm, what I'm checking is if do I have room for a little shim in there or not. And it's pretty... It's pretty tight. So I'll see what I've got. Let's see what works. I dry fit tested a little shim. I mean, it's so tiny, so thin. Um, just from a little shaving I had, and it worked really good. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert one at least in the biggest one. And we'll see about those little ones um, with glue. And then we will clamp it up or weight it down or whatever I can figure out that works. I had a little technical difficulty and lost the footage of the glue up. But what I did is I used these little shims. You can see right there, right there, and right there. And I coated the inside of the hole with glue and the end of the spindles with glue and some glue on the shim and then gently uh, 
nudged it in the hole with uh, this mallet. Um, I'm going to let the glue set up a little bit and then I'll scrape it off and I'll cut the ends of the shims and I will weight it down. So I saw a little tip uh, on some YouTube channel <laughs> somewhere. I wanted to try out to, for removing glue so I let it set up and then I and then the tip said cut a straw at an angle and you can use it to scoop the the um, the glue so we're gonna give it a try i finished cleaning up the glue uh, on the spindles here the straw trick worked okay it wasn't as great as i'd hoped but that could have been because i may have let the glue set up too long or my particular straw was a little flimsy but it didn't get as much as i'd hope so then i Worked on cleaning it up with uh, a utility knife. Uh, so I placed a board across the the arms, and I set the uh, back of the chair up against this portable workbench so that the arms were parallel to the ground. Otherwise, they would not be, and it'd be hard to put the board across the arms. And then I put a, a dumbbell over the arm I'm going up. So I'm going to leave this here to set up for a while, and then we'll come back and finish up. The glue has now set, as I have left it for most of the day, and won't uh, put any stress on it for another day or so to give it time to really set up well. But I want to give you a close-up look at how it turned out. It was these three right here, spindles that I glued back and shimmed in uh, and so they cleaned up really nice they look good the, um, the arm is as solid as the other one which is to say there's a tiny bit of play in them but overall I'm very happy with how it turned out well overall I'm happy with the results of the project and how steady the arm is. There's one thing I'm not 100% satisfied with, and that is the right arm tilts out from the chair a little farther than the left arm does. Let me show you. So it kind of moves out from the chair a little more in this direction than the left arm does in its direction. And I think you can see that a little here. I'm not quite sure, but I think the reason for that is how I put the pressure on the arm. You, you recall I put that board across with the weight, and I suspect that that weight pushed the arm a little out from the chair. So if you're doing a project like this, it's something to watch out for. Anyway, overall it's been a good project. I'm glad I could help out with this and keep this chair that has a lot of family memories with it uh, going for another few years. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, see you next time.